Can you tell me the main factors that contribute to a quality fall? Yes, well, the product is the main factor, the, the, where the, the timber is coming from, which timber mill is producing it. So product is a main, a main factor, and the grading that you're after basically comes down to your final look. They're all, they all perform as well as each other, although there's three different types of grade where you've got a select grade, a standard grade, and a feature grade. So basically, uh, select being A grade, standard being B grade, and feature being C grade. But once again, they do all perform as well as each other, although they do provide a different look once installed. So you've got product, you've got the grade, and basically, and also warehoused, how, how, the, how the timber is warehoused between the timber mills, which most timber mills are up northern New South Wales, so they are all transported down to Sydney. Um, what's happened to the timber while it's at Sydney, where's it stored, where's it sitting and how does it get to your site, how does it get carried into your home are all key factors on what contributes to a quality floor. Okay, so sort of transport has to do with um, whether or not it's going to be damaged, I guess, scratched, that kind of thing, and the care that they're taking That's right, yeah. during transport. All right, well, second question. Um, so buying hardwood floor is a big investment for a lot of people. Um, some might be afraid, you know, when, whenever you're investing a lot of money in anything, there's the fear that you're going to be taken advantage of. Is there anything consumers need to watch out for when buying hardwood floor? Well, yes, to make sure that you are getting the correct species that you're buying. There's a lot of timbers that are similar from one another, although if they're similar, they could be a bit cheaper. Uh, the timber mill or timber supplier could be selling you the cheaper product as the better product, if that makes any sense. Um, although, you know, you need to be careful of, you know, what you're ordering is what you're buying. So 90% of the time there should be the stickers on the end of the packs of what is actually you're getting, and that should be coming from the timber mill, not the timber supplier. Um, also, low grade of flooring to be, to be upsold, as, like, for instance, a feature grade getting sold as a standard grade, a standard grade getting sold as a select grade. So you've got to understand the grading rules to make sure you what you are getting the grade that you require. Um, also, poor poor quality of timber that's bought from the smaller mills and the smaller the smaller uh, yeah the smaller timber mills. Basically, they're not machined the same. The technology is not the same as the larger mills where they do spend millions of dollars on technology on how to produce it, which could cause the fact of the width of the board if it's an 80 mil wide for instance it could range from 80 mil down to 78 or 80 mil up to 82 sort of thing so there is a few different factors that you've got to think about before buying your solid timber floor okay uh, you mentioned quite a few things there i mean one of the things that stood out to me obviously um some companies may sell you one product and then deliver a, a slightly different product I mean, have you got an example of where that's commonly done, or is it just quite um, is it quite widespread? I mean, is there a particular species that that's done more commonly with, or? Yeah, well, normally with the blonder the blonde timbers, like your black butt, northern beech, stringy bark, white mahogany. Um, there's a lot of companies like black butt. You more with your premium timber, where your stringy bark, northern beech, white mahogany is a cheaper cheaper to buy timber, although it looks like black butt. Uh, there's also that do look fairly similar and red mahogany to jarrah look fairly similar as well. Or once again the you know timbers of blue gum and red mahogany versus jarrah are a lot cheaper. So there's it's just a few of the timbers in the same same colour tones that you might be seeing in showrooms and then it slightly looks different when it comes to your site. Okay, and the the best defence, like you say, for that is check the uh, the wrapping that is coming in as it gets delivered. It will yeah, it will right. be labelled on the there. Check the wrapping. Check the ends of the packs. So it will nominate a the size, the grade, and the species of timber, and it will actually nominate what what timber mill it came from.